Hello, Gary Smith here. Let's explain the key building blocks of the Salesforce Sales Cloud. Make sure you understand these essential features before you jump in and start configuring the Sales Cloud in your business. Let's start with accounts. Accounts are organizations. Typically, that means customers and prospects. But they can also be other organizations such as suppliers, consultants and partners. Accounts have contacts. Contacts are people that work at those accounts. Accounts also have opportunities. Opportunities are sales deals. One account might have one, none or many opportunities over time. And of course, we can record the relationship between contacts and specific opportunities. Let's talk a bit more about opportunities. There might be lots of information specific to your business that you want to record about each opportunity. However, there are three key pieces of information that every opportunity needs. The first is called the stage. The stage is a pick list. It records where the opportunity is in your sales process at any point in time. You might have stage values such as prospecting, investigation, proposal made, negotiation, closed one, and closed lost. The second essential piece of information is the close date. This is the date by which you believe the deal will be closed, it will be won or lost. And this date may change as the sales process plays out. The third key piece of information is the amount. This is the revenue, the sales value of the opportunity. Now, where does that amount come from? Well, you can just type it in. But a much better way is to use products. Products are the goods and services that you sell via an opportunity. Now remember, products can be physical things, but they also can be intangible items, subscriptions, fees, or services that you deliver through people. In fact, a product is anything that generates revenue for you via an opportunity. When you add products to an opportunity, the total value of these products becomes the amount on the opportunity. Now that we have these three pieces of information, the stage, the close date and the amount, we can start to analyse the sales pipeline. Dashboard charts are a powerful way to do this. For example, using our three key pieces of information, we can understand the size of the pipeline due to close each month. And within each month, we can analyse the pipeline by stage. This chart, along with many others, give us visibility of the sales pipeline and sales performance. You can kickstart the use of dashboards in your business by installing the free GSP Sales Dashboard from the App Exchange. Campaigns are another key building block of the sales cloud. Campaigns are marketing activities such as trade shows, adverts, emails and web forms. Campaigns can result in new leads. Leads are people in the very earliest stage of the sales cycle. Let's suppose you telephone one of these leads. One of three things is going to happen as a result of that conversation. First, you might find the lead isn't a prospective customer at all. So you update the lead status to closed. Secondly, 
the lead is a definite maybe. So you update the lead status to contacted and record a follow-up activity to contact the lead again in the future. And the third thing that can happen is you decide to qualify the lead. In other words, the person is ready to engage with you from a sales perspective. So this time you convert the lead into an account, a contact and an opportunity. Now here's part of the beauty of that process. The opportunity links back to the original campaign. So now you can calculate the return on investment of your marketing campaigns. And of course, you can use dashboards to analyze sales performance by marketing campaign. Again, look on the App Exchange for GSP dashboards on lead conversion and marketing effectiveness. This is a high level overview of the Salesforce Sales Cloud. But your project is off to a great start if you understand these core building blocks. Don't forget, there's lots more information on our blog, garysmithpartnership.com forward slash blog, or talk to us. Find out more about maximizing the benefits from your Salesforce implementation. Good luck.